we are back for another walkthrough tour today. We are at 305 Rosewood in Hideaway. And I love this house. There is a lot going on here as far as potential for your family. Um, I want to mention a couple things while we're still outside. We have a two car garage, of course, with parking and space in front of it with a drive. But then there's also a full extra driveway that can hold at least two, four, six, seven, eight, nine cars. So when we're allowed to have company and friends again, we have got plenty of space for them at this house. This is a nice quiet street. Um, it's close to the entrance of the third lake. So if you have a boat or you want to go down and fish, it's, it's walking distance to that fishing pier down there um, or a quick drop over there to get your boat in the water. So let's go inside and check out this house. sit a little lower than the street here and so there's a lot of French drain um, activity around the house so there's no water issues here. One of my favorite things is this screened in front porch. It's really secluded um, because of the screens people wouldn't even know you were sitting in here but it's a nice big space that you can hang out, have coffee, whatever you wanted to do but it's a good porch all screened in fully. And then inside you come into the main living space here in the house. We have a wood uh, stove over there in the corner with some accents. We have a beam, uh, the vaulted ceiling with a beam in it. And then the kitchen right off of the main living. The kitchen has been updated, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. There's a built-in microwave, an island here in the middle, and then dining off of it that has windows looking out over the backyard. There have been a lot of upgrades here in the home, and I will post a link to the list of that. Um, with this video as well, all the updates that have been done in the home in just the last few years. Okay, so let's go back through the kitchen here and I'm going to show you a couple things on this side of the house before we make it to the next. Right off the kitchen is a very large uh, utility room and pantry area. So you have that nice and close to you. And then we have a den um, or a bedroom, whatever might be best for your family's needs. Over on this side, there is a bathroom here with a walk-in uh, tile floor shower in there, a nice walk-in closet. In fact, all of the closets in this house are uh, good sized. And then back through the main space. All of the bedrooms in the house are separated from each other. So that is kind of nice. Originally the home was a two bedroom. Now in the main home there are three. This is the second bedroom here. And I actually am going to correct myself. It was three bedrooms. It was, they just reconfigured the master made it um made a living space off of it so that's the smallest closet in the house come over here through this living area there's a little sitting area here out to the back and we will be going back there soon but I'm going to take you to the master side. So 
So this is the sitting area for the master. So you can have your, you know, a TV or you know, a reading nook or whatever you would like in this space. But we have a nice big space in here that belongs to the master. It has its own doors. There is one large walk-in closet in this room. And make sure you take a look in there when we come back through because it's pretty big. And then the bedroom portion of it has its own walk-in closet. And then the bathroom. With updated tile with rock features in there, waterfall faucets. still have more to show you at this house because there is a full guest house or mother-in-law's quarters you could turn it into a man cave or she shed or whatever you wanted it to be back there but first we get to enjoy the nice big deck I love the backyard. It is very secluded here. Although we can see the roof of the neighbors behind us, we cannot see them and they cannot see us. Really from anywhere back here. Fire pit in the yard, a little greenhouse and a storage building. quarters. They have attached the guest quarters with this overhang to the main house so that it would still qualify for VA loans. And now we have the guest quarters. So this is the living and kitchen open area. stainless steel appliances in here. And both homes have nest thermostats in them. This was all done and updated in 2017. So this is new, new construction on this side place for a stacking washer and dryer, and then the bedroom with, of course, a walk-in closet. Grab the light in here. Barn doors over here too, just like in the master. This one has two, one for the bathroom and for the bedroom. And then the guest quarters also has kind of a little sunroom area. It could be a little office or some extra space here. And then a screen and porch on this property or building as well. So you could sit out here and enjoy. Your guests could. We can go back out into the yard here. Let me take a look at the house from the yard. Oh, 
Okay, so this is 305 Rosewood in Hideaway, and I'm Emily Santino with the Santina Group at Keller Williams. Feel free to reach out if you have further questions about this property. Would love to let you take a look at it in person. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.